Glenda and Dave, this is a story the Action News investigators have been following for years. This mother is now living on pins and needles. Any day now, she may have to trade her freedom for a prison cell, all because of a legal technicality. It's scary. It's scary, but it's better than being in a prison cell worrying. Lorinda Swain on what could be her last few days of freedom. Lorinda spent nearly eight years in prison for sexually assaulting her son, but she was set free when her son admitted the accusations were lies. But now, because of a technicality, Lorinda may have to go back. Compared to prison, this is heaven, even, even with the worry that I carry on a daily basis. Lorinda's life has been in limbo since her first breath of freedom in the summer of 2009. After her son Ronnie told the Calhoun County Court that he made up the story about his mom, the judge declared a mistrial, overturning the 2002 conviction. But the Calhoun County prosecutor appealed the ruling and won. Now the case is in the hands of the Michigan Supreme Court. As good as it felt to walk out that jail cell, I knew it wasn't completely over yet. But, it, you know, I was very hopeful because I had Im important, smart, good people that believed in me. Fighting to help Lorinda clear her name is the Michigan Innocence Clinic, led in part by Bridget Mary McCormick, who is also a law professor at the University of Michigan. We were able to find a couple of witnesses um, who could confirm her son's um, plea to the world that what he said at her original trial was not true. You can be on camera. Lorinda has made the best of her freedom. While wearing an electronic tether, she still holds down a job as a waitress and cherishes the moments she has with her dogs and loves baking pies. I just know I didn't do this crime and I've paid a lot of time for something that never happened. And I just pray that the Supreme Court at least hears the case and gives me a chance and rules in my favor and that I don't have to go back for something that never happened. So you may be asking yourself, why is the Calhoun County prosecutor still trying to send Lorinda back to prison? It's a good question. The prosecutor did not return my call or calls from Lorinda's legal team. Lorinda's lawyer believes the reason is technical, that the prosecutor does not believe a witness, or in this case a victim, should be able to change their story after the trial is over. We'll be following this one. In the newsroom, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.